Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe to my channel, like this video and press the bell icon. Laravel components are reusable pieces of UI like buttons, inputs, alerts, cards, or even complex sections that you can use across your application. Instead of writing the same HTML over and over again, you create a blade component once and then reuse it wherever you need. In this video, we're diving into blade components one of the most powerful and time-saving features in Laravel. Here you can see a login form built using Laravel components like input label, text input, submit button, and link. By the end of this video, you'll know how to create and use your own components just like these to make your Laravel applications more organized, reusable, and easier to maintain. Let's walk through it step by step. First, go to the directory where you want to install your Laravel 12 app. Then, Right-click and choose Open in Terminal to open a terminal window in that folder. In your terminal, type the command Laravel new your project name and press Enter. Next, for starter kit, type None and press Enter. Now for testing framework, type 0 for PEST or 1 for PHP unit and press Enter. It will take just a couple of minutes to install all the dependencies depending on your internet connection. For the database, I will be using SQLite since we are just creating a login form using Blade components. Simply type SQLite and press enter. Now, you will be asked whether you want to run npm install and npm run build. Type yes and press enter. This will install all the dependencies and compile your front-end assets. The installation is complete. Now, type cd your project name to navigate into your project directory. Next, open your project in Visual Studio Code. Now open the package.json file and you will see that Tailwind CSS version 4.0.0 and at Tailwind CSS white version 4.0.0 have been added to the dev dependencies section. Let's run our app. Open your terminal and type the command composer run dev and press enter. You can see that both the Laravel and white servers have started. Go to your browser and navigate to localhost colon 8000 and you will see the Laravel welcome page. Now I'm going to create the app.blade.php file which will be our main layout file. Other views like the login form will extend this layout to keep things consistent across the application. Click here and select command prompt to open a new command prompt. Type the command php artisan make colon view layouts dot app and press enter. This will create an app.blade.php file inside the resources views layouts directory. Open app.blade.php file. Here I have added the HTML boilerplate, which acts as the main layout file for our app. In the head section, we're loading the app.css and app.js files using the at white directive. And inside the body, we have added a at yield content section so child views can inject their content here. Next, create a login.blade.php file inside the resources views folder. In the login.blade.php file, we're extending our main layout using at extends layouts.app, which means this view will use the structure defined in app.blade.php. Then, inside at section content, I've added a login form with labels and inputs for the email and password fields. Here, I have added a header using an h to tag that says login to your account. Then, inside this div element, I have added a label for the email and an input field for the email address along with some Tailwind CSS classes for styling. Then in this div element, I have added a label for the password and an input field for the password, along with some Tailwind CSS classes for styling. Then I have added a submit button with a text login, styled using the following Tailwind CSS classes. Below the login button, I've added a paragraph that shows a message for users who don't have an account. It includes a register link, that navigates to the registration page 
styled with Tailwind CSS. Now, let's add a route to display this login view in the browser. Open web.php file. Duplicate this route. Change the URL to login. Update the view to return the login view and name the route login. Next, go to your browser and you should see a login link on the welcome page. Click on this link and you will be navigated to the login page where you can see the login form. Now, let's go ahead and create our blade components. Open your terminal. Type CLS to clear the terminal. Open login.blade.php file. Next, we'll break our form into reusable blade components, starting with the label, input, button, and link. In your terminal, type the command php artisan make colon component forms dot input dash label dash dash view and press enter. This will create an input label dot blade dot php file inside the resources, views, components, forms directory. This is an anonymous component, a component with only a blade template and no class. Open the components, forms folder and you'll see the input label dot blade dot php file. Let's create the rest of the components. Instead of typing the whole command again, just press the up arrow key to bring back the last command. Then, change input label to text dash input and hit enter. Press the up arrow key again, change text input to submit dish button and hit enter. This command will create submit button blade component. Finally, press the up arrow key again, change submit button to link and hit enter. This command will create the link blade component. Here are all the components we've created so far. Open inputlabel.blade.php file. Remove this div tag. In the inputlabel.blade.php file, we use a label tag with a dollar attributes object to include any attributes passed to the component. The merge method lets us add default classes while still allowing customization. Inside the merge method, we pass an array with the key class and the class names as its value. Inside the label, dollar slot displays the label text passed from the parent view. Open login.blade.php file. Copy these class names. Paste the copied class names as the value of the class key inside the merge method. Next, let's use this blade component in the login.blade.php file. Open login.blade.php file. Comment out this code. Add the input label component using the xforms.inputlabel tag and then close it. Inside it, set for is equal to email and add the label text as email. Copy this line of code. Comment out this code and paste the code you copied right below it. Set the for attribute to password and use password as the label text. Open your browser and you should see the input labels displayed as before. Now, let's create a component for the input field. Open textinput.blade.php file. Remove this div tag. Here we use the input tag with the dollar attributes object and the merge method to apply passed in attributes and set default classes that can be customized. Inside the merge method, we provide an array that sets class as the key and includes the default class names as its value. Open login.blade.php file. Copy these class names. Paste the copied class names as the value of the class key inside the merge method. Open login.blade.php file. Add the text input component using the xforms.text input tag below the input label component. Copy this code and paste it inside the text input component. Comment out this code. Open your browser and you should see the password input field displayed just like before. Remove this commented code. Remove this commented code as well. We also need to add the text input component for the email input field. Add the text input component using the xforms.text input tag below the input label component.
copy this code and paste it inside the text input component for the email field. Comment out this code. Remove this commented code. Open your browser and you should see the email input field displayed just like before. Remove this commented code as we don't need it. Next, let's create a blade component for this button. Open submit button.blade.php file. Here, add a button tag and inside it, use the dollar attributes object with the merge method. This method takes an array with a class key where we need to add the class names for the button. Open login.blade.php file and copy these class names for the button. Paste the copied class names as the value of the class key inside the merge method. Here, add the dollar slot variable inside double curly braces. Open login.blade.php file and comment out the code for the button. Here, add the submit button component using the xforms.submit button tag and close it properly. Add type is equal to submit and set the button label to login. Go to your browser and reload the page. You should see the same button displayed as before. Now, let's add dynamic color-based styling to the submit button using a predefined dollar colors array. So we can set different colors using attributes like color is equal to green or color is equal to umber. Open login.blade.php file and remove this commented code. Open submit button.blade.php file. Here, we're defining a dollar colors array to store light and dark theme class sets for different color options like cyan, indigo, green, umber, and teal. Based on the color prop passed for the component, we select the appropriate classes and merge them into the button's class attribute to apply dynamic styling. Open login.blade.php file. In the submit button component, add color is equal to green to apply the green theme styling to the button. You can see that the button color has changed to green. You can see that the button color has changed to umber. Remove color is equal to umber. The button is now sign, as it's the default color when no color value is provided. Now let's create the link component. Open link.blade.php file. Here, we declare that the component expects an ref prop. Then we add an anchor tag and place the dollar slot variable inside it. Inside the anchor tag, we use the dollar attributes object with the merge method which merges any additional attributes passed to the component with default ones. In the array, we use the ref prop as the link URL, and we add a class key with tailwind classes as its value to style the link. Open the login.blade.php file and copy the class names for the link. Paste the copied class names as the value of the class key inside the merge method. Open login.blade.php file and comment out this code. Here, add the link component using xforms.link, set the link text to register, and pass ref is equal to register as a prop. You should see the link displayed in your browser, just like before. If you hover over it, you will see the URL appear in the bottom left corner of the screen. Instead of hard coding the URL, let's generate the register page link dynamically using Laravel's route helper. Remove this commented code. Next, we need to define the register route. Open web.php file. Duplicate the login route code. Change the URL to register, return the string register, and rename the route from login to register. Open login.blade.php file. Remove the hard coded register link and replace it with the route helper passing the register route. Also, add a colon before ref like this. Go to your browser, and you should see the link just like before. If you hover over it, you will see the URL appear in the bottom left corner of the screen. Open app.blade.php file. Here, replace at yield content with dollar slot in double curly braces, since dollar slot is used in blade components to render dynamic content and make the layout more reusable. Now, Open login.blade.php file and remove this code. Add xlouts.app component to apply the layout defined in app.blade.php. 
remove the at insection directive and close the xclouds.app component. If you open your browser, you may see an error. Unable to locate a class or view for component layout.app. This happens because, by default, Laravel looks for the app.blade.php file inside the resources, views, components folder. To fix this, either move the app.blade.php file to that folder or register the component alias in the app service provider inside the boot method. Open app service provider.php file. In the boot method, use the blade facades component method. Pass two arguments inside the parentheses. The first is layouts.app, which is the view path of the component, and second is layouts.app, which is the alias used to reference this component. Make sure to import the blade facade at the top of the file. Open your browser and reload the page. You should see that the error is now resolved and the login form is displayed as before. In this video, we have created reusable blade components for our form elements and layout, making our code cleaner and more maintainable. We learned how to pass dynamic data like colors to components, register custom components, and replace traditional blade sections with component slots. By using these modern Laravel features, your views become more flexible and easier to manage. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content. Feel free to drop any questions or comments below and I'll be happy to help. I will see you in next tutorial. Till then stay safe.